is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Otto says something happened to the chemistry of the team. Did Flo lose the locker room, getting rid of guys like Fitzpatrick, Eric Flowers, Van Noy for no reason? Tuttle, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. That's why it sucks that this adversity hit. It sucks that they're one and three. But the good thing about all of this, if I can you know, add some kind of a positive to all of this, is this is a great test for the coach. If he lost the locker room, then he's not going to get it back. And then you're going to find out that he's not the guy. But if he gets things back on track, then you know you've got your coach. And that's a really good thing. Because now you know when, when, when the crap hits the fan, he's going to respond. And that's incredibly important. So this is actually, in a way, considering it's, it's year three of this rebuild, this is actually a good test to find out if flows the guy or not. Look, the first two years, the first two years, there were no expectations. The first two years, you're the underdog. Nobody looks at you. The first year, nobody even thought you'd win many. Th I thought they wouldn't win a damn game. And they won five. And they blew people away with that five and four finish and winning in New England. Great. Okay. That was cool. That was nice. Five wins. All right, so maybe you guys will win six, seven, maybe eight games in a good year next year. In year two, they go and win 10. So there were no expectations, and they were flirting with the playoffs. This year, expectations. It's a different monster now. Now it's no longer the cutesy surprise. Oh, wow, the team that looks kind of like an expansion team is surprising people with no talent and taking people off somebody else's practice squad and playing them that week. And, you know, it was like a fun little thing. And it's great at the moment. But this year is different. This year is about now living up to expectations. And he has failed to live up to maybe their own expectations, your expectations, my expectations. Maybe we were also wrong and expecting too much from them already. But the bottom line is, he's not meeting the expectations. His own, listen, whether, forget the wins and losses. It's the stupid penalties. It's the ridiculous mistakes. It's the fact that you're inconsistent in everything that you do. Offense, defense, special teams, you name it. So now you need to win everything back. You need to you need to get the team back on track. This week they were talking about how they were their pride was hurt because they weren't doing things the right way and all that crap. And you thought maybe there was a little extra motivation to try to correct the issues on offense and stuff and on and on their run defense that they were unhappy with what you know they're allowing and all that. And then what happens? So if there was actually real remorse this week, supposedly. And the players actually really were pissed off, supposedly. And they really wanted to kind of redeem themselves, supposedly. Didn't work. So I don't know. We're going to find out. I, I, none of, I haven't seen this from Flo in two years. I, I saw a guy that had control of his locker room, had a good, great feel for his locker room. His players responded. He was, tough he took chances he didn't he didn't coach scared you know yesterday when you don't go for that 55 yarder you're coaching scared because i mean if you're such you know you have this trust in your defense play the field position well trust them in midfield too then if you missed a field goal then hey you hand them the ball stop them we're gonna find out we're gonna find out This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.